hello friends in this lecture we'll be discussing the new method for the valuation of goodwill that is capitalization method right now what is capitalization method it is basically the difference you can write this down it is the difference between capital required and actual capital employed right what it means suppose by this method the capital requirement is 6 lakhs but what actual capital employed is 4 lakhs now this 2 lakh is goodwill how right i am earning more profit by employing less capital right see i'll explain this we'll be discussing capitalization of capitalization of average profit right i'll explain this with an example we are given average profits of 60000 and we are given the normal rate of return 10% right now what should be the capital employed on which 10% becomes 60000 what i mean to say is capital employed into normal rate of return is equal to profits i say capital employed is x normal rate of return is 10% and the profits are 60000 what should be the capital employed 60000 into 100 divided by 10 that is 6 lakh 6 lakh should be the capital employed to earn a normal return of 10% and the profits of 60000 now we are given what is the actual capital employed actual capital employed say the actual capital employed is 4 lakh 80000 that means by employing 4 lakh 80000 we are earning profits of 60000 okay in or that means we are earning a higher rate of return than expected we are saving 1 lakh 20000 that is goodwill because of this goodwill we are able to save 1 lakh 20000 what it means we are earning profits of 60000 by employing 4 lakh 80000 rather than 6 lakhs otherwise we need 6 lakh to earn a profit of normal rate of return of 60000 but we are earning 60000 by employing only 4 lakh 80000 
right because of goodwill this is goodwill right so what the goodwill means by capitalization method we will capitalize the average profits will find out the capitalized value of business through average profits right and we will calculate the actual capital employed now you have to see what is actual capital employed how to calculate this is the valuation of actual capital employed all assets minus goodwill minus fictitious asset minus the non paid investments minus outsiders liabilities right that i have already discussed with in the super profit method how we calculate capital employed right this is how you have to calculate the ca actual capital employed in the business right so this is capitalization of average profit method we have two methods i have discussed capitalization of average profits and capitalization of super profits this is capitalization of average profits it means that we are earning more profits by employing less of capital then required required capital is 6 lakh to earn a normal rate of return 60000 but we are earning 60000 by employing only 4 lakh 80000 very good for us we are saving 1 lakh 20000 capital we are earning 60000 with 4 lakh 80000 then what is the need for deploying extra 1 lakh 20000 right clear so now the second method we have is capitalization of super profits this is very very simple nothing to do you have to calculate first step is calculate super profits in the super profits what we calculate is super profits tell us what extra earning we are doing over and above the normal rate of return and for the goodwill we have to just capitalize that extra earning that will be goodwill super profits into 100 divided by normal rate of return right this is how we'll be calculating goodwill under the capitalization of super profits we have to capitalize super profits clear so i have discussed capitalization of average profits and capitalization of super profits capitalized value capitalization of super profits is nothing but super profits into 100 divided by normal rate of return that will be given in the question clear let's see some practical problems on it the problem reads average profit of the firm is 1 lakh 50000 total tangible assets of the firm are 14 lakh and outside liabilities are 4 lakh in the same type of business the normal rate of return is 10% of the capital employed calculate value of goodwill by capitalization of super profit method clear so first of all what we will do is we will calculate capital employed what will be the capital employed total assets minus liabilities
we are given the assets as 14 lakh and liabilities as 4 lakh so what is capital employed rupees 10 lakh clear what is the normal rate of return normal rate of return is 10% we will calculate normal profits normal profits as 10 lakh into 10 divided by 100 this comes to rupees 1 lakh clear now let's see the average profits what are the average profits 1 lakh 50000 So what are the super profits Super profits are 150000 that is average profits minus the normal profits which are 1 lakh rupees 50000 are super profits and what is the goodwill by capitalization of super profits now Goodwill is equal to rupees 50000 in 200 divided by 10 this comes to rupees 5 lakh so this is the amount of goodwill under the capitalization of super profits clear under the average profits we have to find out the capitalized value of business and the actual capital employed the difference between the two is goodwill but in the super profits we are already nullifying that effect we are already calculating the normal profits and the average profits and taking the difference out of two right so we will directly capitalize the super profits to get the goodwill clear So let's see the next problem. Next problem is average net profit expected in future by G Lal and Company is thirty thousand per year. Right? Average capital employed in the business by the firm is two lakh. Normal rate of return on the capital employed is ten percent. Calculate goodwill of the firm by super profit method on the basis of two years purchase and the capitalization of super profits. so it is including both the methods let's see very simple question we have capital employed as 2 lakh what is the normal rate of return what is the normal rate of return it is 10% so what are normal profits normal profits is 10% of 2 lakh this comes to rupees 20000 we are given average profits the expected average profits of rupees 30000 clear so we will get super profits super profits are 30000 this comes to rupees 10000 now by first method by the super profit method two years purchase goodwill is equal to super profits 
into two years purchase rupees twenty thousand and under the second method capitalization of super profits the goodwill is gonna be super profits into hundred divided by ten so this comes to rupees one lakh clear so this is the value of goodwill under the two methods clear very simple method will calculate super profits and then the goodwill under the two methods let's see one more problem a business has earned average profit of 1 lakh during the last few years and the normal rate of return in the similar business is 10% find out the value of goodwill by capitalization of super profit method and super profit method if the goodwill is valued at 3 years purchase of super profit assets of the business were 10 lakhs and external liabilities 1 lakh 80 thousand let's see again a very simple similar question to the previous one in this question we have to first of all see what is capital employed capital employed capital employed is equal to assets minus the liabilities what are assets 10 lakh and liabilities of 1 lakh 80 thousand so what is capital employed 8 lakh 20 thousand right clear now what is the normal rate of return normal rate of return is 10 percent so what are normal profits normal profits are 8 lakh 20 thousand into normal rate of return this comes to rupees 82 thousand now we are given the average profits for the last few years as rupees 1 lakh what are super profits super profits are 1 lakh minus 82,000 rupees 18,000 are the super profits and what is going to be now the goodwill under capitalization method it's going to be super profits into 100 divided by normal return 1 lakh 80,000 and in the second method number of year purchase method goodwill will be super profits into number of years purchase number of years purchases three this comes to rupees fifty four thousand clear so this is a very very simple method capitalization method right i have told you two different things capitalization of average profits and capitalization of super profits under the capitalization of average profits calculate what is the capital required and calculate what is the actual capital employed the difference is goodwill under super profits calculate super profits and capitalize the super profits clear